Talk about how preseason practice has gone so far for the team. Uh, they've gone pretty well. I mean, uh, obviously this past week it's been really hot, so we've kind of uh, added more practices for shorter times so we get in and out, get like one thing or two things done. Uh, but overall, I think the competitiveness has been pretty good. And, you know, we have a couple of new players coming in that are challenging, and I think that, that can only help us going forward. We're still, it's still so early, even though we had a scrimmage already. Uh, it's still so early that we still have a lot of things that we have to kind of catch up on, and we'll try and catch up on them as games go on. Made the tournament all four years previously, including winning it all in 2015 and making the championship last year. Just talk about how you built off of that success heading into this season. Well, every season's a new year, so uh, I mean, obviously, you know, you want to take a little bit of that. Okay, we were right there and we lost in PKs, which is a coin flip basically, and you have to learn from that and say, okay, how can we find a way to win that game so it doesn't go into penalty kicks? Uh, but at the same time. We still have to get to the tournament, and I think this, this year the league is going to be extremely competitive. I think it's going to be almost every game is going to be a fight to the wire, so uh, I think you're going to see some surprises here, and hopefully we can find a way to get back into the tournament, and then once you get to the tournament, you worry about it from there. But uh, first, first we have to get there uh, before we can worry about taking the next step. If we can get to that final again, then, then we can look at how we can take that next step. Talk about um, just where you think the state of the league is and where your place is within the Northeast Conference. Oh, I, I think it's getting better and better every year. I think uh, one of the things that's happening is, you know, there's been a lot of quality coaches that have now joined the ranks at F, uh, in the NEC. And because of that, you know, they're rising their programs up. And as I said, I think you can just look at how the games have gone uh, in the past, past year. Uh, they've got a much more... Uh, competitive and I think I think that means that you have to be ready and and the fact that we were picked high just means that more teams are looking after us I mean I'm not gonna read too much into what the rankings are because it really is a brand new year uh, you can't you can't say it's gonna necessarily continue what you did last year but you hope it does but at the same time it just means that we have to be ready every time we step out on the field talk about um the return is just what you expect out of them heading into this season. Well, I mean, I, I think they're really eager to try and take that next step. Um, I think, you know, hopefully we'll be a little bit more cohesive. We can probably see if that we can be a little bit more organized defensively. I thought our shape last year was at times a little bit disorganized and we were able to uh, get broken down. And I think, you know, obviously our play in net really saved us a lot last year. And I think we want to raise that level. And I think we have so far like, what we've seen in preseason. But that's going to be a, a continuous battle throughout the year. Uh, and then on the attacking side, yeah, I mean, I think we have a lot of players that are eager to match what they did last year. We have some players that uh, weren't able to play last year that now are in. And they are eager to show that they could have really helped us last year. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's a really good mindset where we are right now. Uh, that being said, we haven't played any games yet, so, so really that's when the true test of character comes out. You also have eight freshmen that are joining the team for this season. Um, just talk about what those newcomers have brought to the team so far in practice and then what you can expect out of them for this season. I mean, they're battling. They're battling for starting spots. I mean, we, you know, our scrimmage yesterday, we scored two goals and they were both scored by freshmen. So right off the bat, that shows that they're, they're able to play at this level and, and that they want to compete. So I think, I think the best thing about it is uh, it makes everyone have to be on their toes. No one's guaranteed you know, starting time, no one's guaranteed full 90 minutes. You have to go out and prove it every single day. And to me, that's a good problem to have, not a bad problem. I think it's, if your team can, can respect that and grow from that, it, it turns out to be great. Uh, if they fight that, then it becomes a hard thing to get over. But we look at it as it's a huge positive because now we know we can do different rotations within the games. We can give rest when needed. We can push when needed. We can play more of an attacking style. We can play more defending. Uh, we, can, we can kind of change a little bit from game to game, which, you know, if we stay healthy, uh, that should be fun then. What are your feelings about like a message that you, you've been preaching heading into this season? Nothing's given. They all want to prove uh, that they, they can win the title, but nothing's given. They have to earn it, everything. And it's been the mindset since this, we started the spring sessions. So it's easy to talk about what we want to do. It's a lot harder to activate it. And what we've seen so far, they're really engaging in that uh, mindset. So if we can keep that through the year, then, then we have a chance. Thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you.